dramatic reading of an anime post from 20 years ago today. Hi, fellow otakus. If you read issue 6-4 of An America magazine, they interviewed voice actor Amy Howard, Nova Star Blazers. She says that Disney is doing a live-action movie of Star Blazers. Well, Disney is going to do a Sailor Moon live-action feature. And Warner Brothers is thinking of doing a live-action Speed Racer movie. Do you think Disney and Warner Brothers will screw up the translations from anime to the silver screen? Or they are making it all up? What do you, the anime fans, think of all this? In my humble opinion, they are going to suck. Speed Racer has been in production limbo since the 80s, and they are nowhere near a working script slash. Sailor Moon is being produced by Gina Davis because her daughter loved the series so much and will be casting her own daughter in one of the roles, now leading, leading it up to an actress. Come on, please. Give me a break. This will suck. And now they want Star Blazers too? Ack, ack. When will this end? Don't you think that's her reason why they were cartoons in the first place? Because all of these series were too far-fetched to be believable as a live-action movie. It is more believable and endearing as the anime they were meant to be. Do not destroy them by making live-action movies. What will be next? Live-action Kekko Kamen? Oh no, wait! The Japanese have already done a live-action version of that series. Ah! Pulling hairs Leave now. anime, anime, and live-action out of it. Unless it was made for live-action. Here are some anime-based live-action movies that were made. See what they all have in common. Ge Geyer 1 and 2. Uh, American Company, both sucked. 8-Man, done by Japanese, but lost all creativeness and did not follow original story too well. Wicked City, Chinese version, nowhere near, nowhere as good as the anime version. Doomed Megalopolis, ack, talk about sour grapes. Crying Freeman, as hyped up as it was, followed original idea, but Dakosko, how the hell do you spell his name anyway? anyway? He's from my home state, and I don't even know how to spell his name. Disappointed by lack of character. Fist of the North Star. Do I really need to point out that this was plain bad? Dragon Ball Z? There was one made by the Japanese. Nevi saw it, but they had the actors dressed up as the characters. Imagine seeing an Oriental with a blonde stand-up wig. Yeah, nightmares. Gunhead. Nice, but did not follow original manga all that well. Now compare all of these movies. Do even one of them come across as blockbuster material? I think not.